right, so moving on to graphing our logs. Again, just like with exponents, you can either graph it with a calculator. If you're given the table, you can do all of that, blah, blah, blah. Um, plot your points, go on. But the whole point of all of this is to identify key features. So whether I give you a graph, I give you a calculator to graph it yourself, or I give you a table so you can plot it out and graph it, no matter what, the end point is to get your key features. So if I have this, you can use the calculator. Okay, so uh, just to recall how to use the TI Inspire when you're doing logs and all of that, um, the above the 10 button is the log button, but you're going to have to hit control first. So I have log. If I don't put a base, it assumes base 10, but it gives you an opportunity to put bases in. So that's really nice that the TI Inspire is smart enough to do that for us. So I put log base 3 of 0 0.01, and that's just going to give me a point to plot. But because I have a graphing calculator, I, instead of filling all of that out, I would do it in the graphic calculator. But let's say Ms. Jag gave you this table. Well, you're going to plot it. So I plot each of these points, and then I connect the dots. That's it. Now I can access all of my information about domain, range, intercepts, asymptotes, end behavior, and increasing, decreasing. So my domain, it does not go from negative infinity to positive infinity. It goes from zero to positive infinity. My range, on the other hand, goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. Pause. What do you notice about the definition of your domain and range from an exponential function to a logarithmic function? And if you said, hey, they're just vice versa, you recall that concept. They're inverses. Of course, their domain and range must be switched. All right. And guess what? Same with most of their other key features. They're... Um, the asymptote is occurring at the y-axis this time, so x equals 0. Your intercept is not occurring at 0, 1. It's occurring at 1, 0. Everything's backwards. And behavior, the limit as x goes to positive infinity. This one, your function, I think, is actually still going to positive infinity. And... Uh, your limit as x goes to negative infinity, this one is going to negative infinity. We would have to zoom fully out to make sure this was continuing on and on and on and on forever, but I believe that that is true. So this is a, a difference in our end behavior, and it is increasing the entire time. It's not concave up, it is concave down, it, but it is still increasing. Uh, but our interval now goes from zero to positive infinity because it is on my x that we are looking. Okay, so now can you do the same thing? 